Them theater kids were a whole different breed. You see, while we were drinking breast milk and eating Gerber crushed vegetables, them niggas was probably popping Adderall, snorting Coke. Like, no way in hell. Y'all really had all that energy in the morning. No way. During breakfast, I could barely even remember the bus ride to the school. My mind was in a daze, but meanwhile that, these chaotic fucks next to the wall doing the dance number for Footloose, like, huh? There's two types of theater kids, okay? The artsy, self-indulgent nigga that's annoying as shit, and two, the artsy, self-indulgent nigga that's slightly less annoying as shit, but every now and then, there's a mutation during the breeding process of the theater kid species, and let's say, maybe one out of every 200 thousand comes out as a normal human being i mean right i mean but honest to god i love the energy you know observing them was like watching a cat chase after a red dot from a laser pointer endless endless amounts of entertainment i'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie some of them were a bit snobby though Maybe I'm reminiscing the wrong way, but I swear there were like a couple handful of theater kids that just thought they were the shit. Like, they were the pinnacle of human evolution or something. Like, their little hour and a half play put them on the same status as Broadway niggas. Like, pipe down, nigga. We go to the same dog shit ass school that's sinking into the ground year by year, I You cool, but you not that cool, son. You not that cool, son. They definitely had competition, though. Yeah, they did. With who? With the band kids, of course. I feel like I feel like they competed to prove which group was the most necessary of the evils, right? Band kids band kids definitely have more of the cringe gene running through their DNA though. You'd be able to have a productive conversation with at least six out of ten theater kids, but for band kids, maybe only two out of ten. Two out of ten, and that's being charitable. Being charitable, seeing a band kid and a theater kid pass by each other to the untrained eye. Oh, oh it's, it's just normal people just, just passing each other, just going about their day. Nothing to see here, but a nigga as observant as me, I can see everything. Yeah. The temperature of the room rises, you start to feel minutely parched. Every man and woman within a two yard radius becomes permanently sterile. Yeah, I could see it all. It was magnificent. Two weird niggas mentally duking it out with each other without even having to meet each other's gaze. Truly, truly a scene to behold. <laughs> truly. But yeah, um, them theater kids, they were kind of strange. They were real strange. Mm -hmm.